Mariana. Hey, congratulations for Madres. Thank you, thank you. Hey, so tell us uh, what initially attracted you to this project? The script. I think when I first read the script, I remember emailing my reps and just telling them this is a Mexican get out and I need to be part of it. I was super, super excited about the characters. Um, you know, I think to have a Latina leading a film, unfortunately is like very rare. And to be able to, to work on this project, it was beyond all expectations. Um, the character of Diana, is extremely relatable to me because we're both Chicanas. We, there is this, at some point you have to come to terms with uh, the reality as a hyphenated American that you are both Mexican and American and how that, how those two cultures kind of like blend and create who you are. So um, I think those were like the two main things that attracted me the most. Motherhood is something that I respect and I value. I myself am not a mother, but having the ability to like take that on is, is something that I think is so important and, um, and carries a lot of weight for me. Most excellent. Now, have you heard of the real story before? I mean, I've, I've heard it since, uh, since I watched a documentary called No Mas Babies a few years ago. But Yes. yes. So I watched No Mas before we, we started shooting, but I did not know specifically of, of the sterilization in L.A., However, I'm from a border town, so th these um, these concepts of like the eugenics project and um, second class citizenship is is not unknown to me. This is something that I'm like very, um, a, you know, I'm aware of. Uh, but this is the first time I had ever heard of it, and um, yeah, it was it was disheartening, but it was exciting to be able to like finally bring the story to light, so that people like myself. Um, and, and anyone, like not, not even just Latinos, just like any audience member could, could gain a little more insight. You, you know what's actually funny about uh, these uh, immigrant uh, horror movies is that it, it always makes it sound like we, we live in such a horrible place here in the United States. Oh my, it's, you know, I, I feel like I've had conversations with other interviewers where I'm like, I have to acknowledge that this is like, the best time to live as a woman, like to live as a diverse person, like we have come such a long way, right? That like, it's not lost on me that being in America, it's really not that bad, but there's always work to be done. Um, I, I do try to, to be hopeful and to, and to look at things positively, right? So like, I mean, the seventies was what, 50 years ago? Wow, 50 years ago. Um, at well, how far we've come, you know? I mean, yeah, it's, it's, uh, we're lucky to still live in the U.S. I, I think, I think sometimes people, we, we sometimes forget, but yeah, this is, this is still a really great country. I, yeah, super fortunate to be here. <laughs> well, what was it like, uh, you know, um, because you're, you're not a mother yourself, but you have to play a mother and uh, walk around pregnant uh, on, on that production. Well, um, this is not my first time playing a pregnant mommy. I got the body of a nine month pregnant mom. Um, I, I do think, um, you know, for this role in particular, because it was much longer than the other one that I had to do, where I was just pregnant for like an episode or something. But this one being that it was two months, I, I really wanted to do a lot of like physical and emotional prep work. Um, that I didn't have in me, right? And I could do substitution and there's things that I can kind of like um, equate to, but they're not exactly the same. So you use the internet and YouTube. But what I found was a lot of times um, they were very glamorized. Like these videos of like these moms with their babies, they were just like, oh my God, it's so hard, but I love it. And I was like, nah, bitch, that's not it. That's not all of it. There's gotta be some difficulty, some complications some turmoil. And when I talked to my friends and family, like a lot of my friends who were either pregnant or who had just had a baby, I mean, there was, there's just a lot that we don't realize. A lot of um, emotional burdens that women carry during their pregnancy that no one wants to talk about because it makes either them feel like a bad mom or other people uncomfortable. But um, yeah, the, the, I, I, I think for myself, um, having the physicality was really important in those discussions and they lend themselves into getting into like that emotional state. 
but the the insight that I gained from from my friends and my family members as far as their pregnancy um, is something it was a huge driving force when I when I was like playing Diana. Excellent. Well, hey, thank you very much, Ariana, for speaking with us. Really appreciate uh, yeah. you doing that. Thank you. Thank Bye. You.